In a world filled with objectivity, I'm gonna be subjective as heck as I review Notion, Calendar versus Morgan. Just kidding, that's the entirety of the industry. Don't let anyone tell you different. So for those of you that are unaware, there is Morgan, which is a calendar app, and there is Notion Calendar, which was previously known as Cron and is now a extension of the Notion app that allows you to connect your Google account to a third party reskin of the Notion experience. Now, there are a few reasons why I recommend both of these different apps. We're going to dive into those in this video. First and foremost, when we take a look at my Morgan calendar, you'll see that in the last couple of weeks, what I've been doing is I've actually taken full advantage of the opportunity that is using their Notion integration. And this is a key point because a lot of people are unaware of the fact that this product not only has a higher level of integrations on the calendar side, but it also just has more integrations from a task side as well. Morgan is a calendar app that is available to add on to not only multiple calendar accounts in the Google suite, but also to multiple products. Office 365, Outlook, Fastmail, iCloud, and others are available to add to your account. With that, there's also other integrations to more products. As you can see right here, you can connect to Zoom, Teams, WebEx, and then for tasks, we actually have a myriad of different options here, which include Todoist, Google Tasks, Microsoft To-Do, Outlook, Zapier, et cetera. So one thing to note is that in order to have some of these, you are going to need the pro plan, which unlike Notion is not free. However, I'm going to be that guy who is uh, very much for paying for premium products. The pro app for Morgan is $9 a month or $15 a month, depending on how you pay. However, it does also come with some really cool team and personal workflow automations. And for me, at least, I'm always of the opinion it's fine to pay for personal productivity software. Let's be real, y'all are probably paying for Spotify already. Not that that makes it right, whether one is paid or not, I'm just saying it's not exactly the worst use of money. However, it is fair to point out, Notion has a lot of the same features, but it's not, it's not a paid product. Now, something to point out inside of Morgan and Cron is that there are booking link options for both. Inside of my Morgan account, I can go in here, quickly create a invite, press open invite, and then ask anybody to book a time with me right here and copy a link. And then from there, it will have a similar system to what you'll see with Calendly. As you can see right here, my booking link will take me to any of the time slots that I've preset because I can do that open invite I just showed or the option to set specific times during the week that you can chat with me. Like I only really have meetings from like this time to this time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And the same goes for Notion Calendar. You can do the exact same thing. You can grab a slot in order to make a booking link or not, right? Like I can press conferencing here, make it a Google Meet. Like I can, for example, click on share availability, then drag a time slot and copy and paste this similar to what I can do with uh, Morgan. But for all intents and purposes, that's like the same experience. Both of these products have a command bar. As I press control K on this guy, it does allow me to see the command bar and the same goes for Morgan. It's actually the same command K. So if you have both of these, it will have a weird issue where if I press command K, that works in here, but on the other one, but also Notion itself has a command K for the command bar. That's like the common command bar shortcut. So just expect that weird experience. Now, a couple other things that I'll point out here is that in my opinion, I have a better user experience when it comes to scheduling tasks on the Notion integration with Morgan than I do in Notion Calendar. Pretty ironic. First and foremost, on the task side, what we see here is we actually have a sort of daily planner view. So I'm recording some BAU videos right now, which is the videos you're seeing on this channel, AKA business as usual. And I have it set up so that what I can do is after I take a look over here, I can grab this and set it so that the item is scheduled on the calendar to a specific calendar and taking it from that automation and taking it from this integration. So if I click on open in Notion, you notice right here that I actually press the button and in my Notion app, this guy opens up and goes right there. Based on the page I'm currently in a Notion, it'll change the page. However, if I wanted to, I could actually press this button right here and it would do the same thing without even needing to click into it as well as you can see. Now in Morgan Calendar, you can do something very similar. 
If I click on this, you'll notice that if I wanted to, I could connect this to a specific page inside of Notion by typing the name out, like record BAU videos or any other notes. I could definitely add and attach it. And then by clicking on here, it will actually bring me to that specific page as well. Now, something important to note that Morgan does not do that Notion calendar does is if I take one of these tasks, right? And you'll notice this here, this is a little bit weird. As I set this guy on the calendar, I wanna remove this from the calendar. So I'm just gonna remove this from the calendar. As you can see, this entity is not the same as that entity. Unfortunately, it's, it's a little bit wonky. If I grab this guy and drag it and put it onto my calendar, what's interesting is that it is in fact on the task database, I can also then change it to my Rise Productive Calendar. However, magically it doesn't exist on my Notion account anymore, which is unideal. So as you can see, when I click open a Notion, it got deleted. That's not cool. However, in the same vein, it has a wonderful addition where the time on the calendar actually syncs up. So if I were to drag this around, to a different time, like 4.45 to 5.15 p.m., would adjust that time properly. However, if I did the same thing inside of Morgan, and I were to make this longer or shorter, there is no impact on the time. As you can see, it's still set to this, and for the other items like this one that I put on my calendar, it doesn't set the time specifically in there, which I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. A little bit disappointing. But if I do check off a task inside of my Morgan, integration, it does check this task off, which I will see be checked off in a mere second here inside of Notion, which is pretty cool. However, for the most part, both of these products have distinctly unique differences to their Notion integration that I could see many people liking one over the other. But for me, at least, I'm using Morgan on a consistent basis because of the ability to check items off in here the ability to really do a daily planning ritual by going in here and like dragging the task. And then when all of the today tasks are gone, I'm done planning, right? Whereas in the Notion calendar side of things, we have the ability to map the time of the task pretty well, but unfortunately we really don't see any other additions to it. Like I, I know that being able to see my time property from Notion in here is pretty good a priority level in here, all those sort of things, that's something I can deal with, right? Even the recurring task label that I have. The descriptions are in here, which you can see in, in Notion Calendar, but I don't really like the lack of property integration to Notion, considering Notion is Notion, right? Like why do we see more property integration, including a, a status update in a third-party app when Notion is the one that owns the product that it's connecting to. And also I cannot get over the fact that I can't recommend Notion Calendar to anybody who uses Microsoft 365 or Apple Calendar because they don't connect. So if your family's on Apple Calendar, have fun trying to connect the two because <laughs> the only options you got are Google and Notion and that, and that just kind of stinks. So I wanna know your thoughts on these two different products. And I also wanna know your thoughts on this video on how to improve your skills using Notion even more.